Yo, what's going on? Today we're going to talk about um, Adidas SL20 Light Strike. Uh, when is it from? Let me see. Yeah, I saw an article. I just found a, found an article on this uh, on the Norwegian side, uh, just to know a little bit more about the shoe. I'm not like a really techy when it, like tech when it comes to shoes like that uh, what I do know is uh, that this shoe is super light it's 230 grams I think it feels lighter than that it just feels super light and uh, I think light strike is uh, supposed to be their new technology it's way lighter than boost uh, to be honest the boost, yeah, I had a lot of ultra boosts and stuff like that, and they're yeah, great for walking. That only like, how when did boost come out? Two thousand fifteen, something like that. That only like five years ago, they tricked us into thinking running in boost was good for your feet. Like that shit is horrible for your feet, and yeah, Kanye made that shit popular and all that shit. Uh, but and I was one of the guys who wanted all the boost and all the hype and all that stuff but boost is not it's good for walking for a couple of hours but you just it's like standing still on a trampoline doing like this all day it's not good for your feet and running especially is horrible but let's get back to the shoe I will just say right out the box this is one of the best shoes I ever put on right out the box. You know when you first start running in a new shoe, it's sometimes it's a little bit on the little toe or they're a little bit stiff on the wrist or up on your feet or something is digging that you have to like run the shoes out for for this part to not rub with the laces or under the foot is something like a little bit of dump that you have to run the shoes, break them in. This shoe is like pre-running for you, for my feet especially. This is one of the best shoes I just bought, like put on. And for the price, you can get them for like 60 bucks now. Uh, this is supposed to be a fast shoe though. It's supposed to be like for when you want to run like 5, 10k, 15k with trying to get uh, your PR, is that what they call personal PB, personal best time? You've got that touring system, that plastic. The only thing I have to say that is, I would I would give the shoe a. It's it's firm, but it's soft. It's not like boot. It's like it got a, a, a lot of give. You, you heard that play? You heard that? The only thing is, when you run in this shoe, sometimes it, 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 when you run, it sounds like you're wearing heels because it's plastic with this. It's like. So you sound like a woman running in this shoe sometimes in heels because this plastic plate is kind of annoying like that. Uh, other than that, I really like this shoe. You got a semi gusseted tongue, so it it hangs. Um, it's not loose. It it's stitched up on just the one side, and that's enough. Uh, I like the colorway. I like how it looks on feet. I like um, I like how uh, it feels. I, I think they did a phenomenal job. I w I don't know. If I would run a half marathon in this shoe, but I think I would because you're running fast when you're running a half marathon. Maybe the cushioning would be. I don't know. I think I would. It's a cheaper shoe from Adidas, and I think it would compete. I don't think it, they meant for this to compete with the Pegasus because the Pegasus is more all around. It got more cushioning. It got a little bit more of like this long runs short run 
fast flow and everything this is more of just a fast flow so i wouldn't use this as my only uh, like um, neutral running day training but except that i would say it's a lot of it's a lot of colorways you can get it for cheap if you if you are a little bit more like not just two three times a week but if you want to shoot that for when you want to run run that fast 5k 10k to challenge yourself and not be have too much of a cushion uh and it got that continental uh, fucking tire thing right here. Uh, yeah, I would definitely. I like. I, I don't own a lot of shoes. I'm like you see. I don't, don't got many subscribers and stuff. I don't get sent nothing, so I have to buy things with my own money. So like, I don't have a lot of running shoes. So I I haven't tried. Uh, as money running shoes in this price range but I must say I don't believe a lot of running shoes beats this one for the price $60 $60 maybe even more or less in the US or some other countries that is like I got them from uh, even less though but I got this coupon thing and yeah maybe 50 and it's so light I don't think anything beats if you want if what I said if you after a fast shoe I don't think nothing can beat this price I wouldn't use this as my everyday runner like for, uh, yeah, and not definitely not for easy days and uh, like for easy runs when you just have a recovery runs and stuff but for those fast days I don't I don't know when I think about like how many shoes are in this prime range with the quality it's like the C lines of the Nikes and stuff you get from for this price and this is not the A line but I would say it feels like a, a, a much much more expensive shoe I must say much much and I'm running pretty much a lot of shoes and nothing beats for this price for what it's meant to do I don't think so so yeah I don't want to go on about the details and blah 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 try it out for yourself it's not a lot of money uh, yeah try it out thanks if you like the video don't like the video please like and subscribe and we try I will try to do this half uh, running shoe half uh, uh, perfume fragrance thing and uh, yeah uh, this shoe is uh, it's, it's amazing so and now we're moving in it's like a storm outside so I'm doing a lot of more road running these days just because the weather is getting worse and running in the woods and mud and like I mean it's not like it's not even mud it's like this like what do you call it in U America and US uh, English? I mean, swampy. It's, it's so swampy. I like, I got mud up to here and swamps, and I can run in like that stuff. I can run in trails, but it's not a lot of trails, trails around here. It's a lot of woods and woody trails that gets flooded. So, yeah, anyways, boom, subscribe.